Hello! Today we're going to talk about the Lean Six Sigma tool, Pareto Charts. When you want to look for the most common contributing causes to a situation, Pareto Charts are useful. A Pareto Chart is a bar chart, ordered from the most frequent category on the left to the least frequent category on the right, thereby creating a summary of the problems with the highest priority. The best results can be achieved by tackling and improving problems based on these priorities. Pareto charts display both the frequency of occurrences as the bar graph and the cumulative percent of occurrences as a line graph. Both of these appear on a single chart. The left y-axis shows frequency of occurrences while the right y-axis shows the total percentage. It's easy to make Pareto charts in Microsoft Excel. First, you begin with a list of individual measurements. Then you'll create a frequency table from those individual measurements. Finally, you will input an Excel Pareto chart on those aggregated measurements. Let's take a look at an example now. Here we have a list of various flaws, and each time they occur, they are expressed on a single row. We will need to aggregate the frequency for each of these to understand the total number of occurrences. We can do this by pivoting the data. Here, we have already pivoted the data. Once this is complete, select the name of the flaw along with its aggregated count. Copy this and paste it into a new sheet. From here, make sure that your data is still highlighted. Then go to Insert and look for the histogram icon. There will be a drop down to the right of it. Here you'll get more options on what type of graph you can select. In this case, we're looking for the Pareto chart. Clicking this chart populates it with all the information we need. Along the x-axis, you'll notice the name of the flaw, and you'll notice the bars are representing the total number of frequencies of each of those flaws. The guideline for total percentage is also displayed. Pareto chart analysis is one of many analytical tools in the Lean Six Sigma toolkit. You can learn more about analytical tools in the Lean Six Sigma philosophy from GoSkills courses. Whether you're looking for yellow belt, green belt, or black belt, GoSkills has information that you can use to improve your processes and see your projects succeed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and check out GoSkills.com for more career boosting tips.